what is CLIA? CLIA stands for Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments. It was created in 1988 by the federal government to create regulatory standards for all lab tests that are performed in the United States that aren't part of research or clinical trials. It is maintained and monitored through CMS. So every lab test that's going to be performed has to be CLIA certified. There are three different categories that each lab test will fall into. Based off of the seven questions that they're asked, they are given a score. Depending on their score, they're either put in the waived category, which is considered a simple category, the moderate complexity or the high complexity. For the purposes of COVID-19 testing, they all fall within the waived category. Not only does the lab test itself have to have a CLIA certification, but so does the lab that administers it. So because as dental practices, we're going to be providing COVID-19 testing, we must apply for CLIA certification as well. But because COVID-19 tests are considered waived, we only have to apply for a certificate of waiver, meaning we're getting permission to administer tests that are in the waived category. There are four steps to apply for your certificate of waiver. The first is to check with your state agency. There may be state specific requirements that differ from that of the CLIA regulations. Once you've contacted your state and determined what requirements they have, they will likely require you to complete the CMS 116 form. This form can be found on the CMS website or can be provided by your state agency. Once you've completed the form, you'll send that application to your state agency and they will then issue you a CLIA identification number. Once you have that CLIA ID, you'll then go to the CMS website and pay your fees for your certificate. It's $180 and it's valid for two years. This is what the CLIA application looks like. It's a fillable PDF made up of 10 sections and I'm going to walk you through each section in detail so that you can efficiently complete your application. Section one is general information. You're gonna click initial application in the first box. You're going to leave the CLIA ID number blank since it's a new application and you don't yet have one. It's absolutely essential that you do not use a DBA. Your tax ID must match your facility name exactly. When you get down to the name of the director, I suggest you use a provider. This is just whoever is going to be considered the director of the laboratory. Section two is what type of certificate are you requesting? In this case, we're going to be requesting a certificate of waiver because the COVID tests are waived. So you're only gonna check that first box and then move on to the next section. Section three is the type of laboratory. I suggest you mark box 22, practitioner other, and then type dental practice into the space provided. In section four, you're just gonna list the hours that your practice is open for testing. Section five is for multiple sites. Now please read this section carefully. Just because you have multiple locations under one tax ID does not necessarily mean that you can apply for a single CLIA certificate. So read the fine print. If you have a single location, you'll simply select no and move on to the next section. Section six is for waived testing. This is where we're going to list the specific COVID test you plan to administer within your practice. Of course, this test has to be a waived status in order for your application to be approved. In the example I gave you, not only did I write out the brand name, but I also listed the manufacturer. You also need to provide an estimated total amount of tests you plan to perform. Section seven and eight will be skipped because they are not specific to WAVE tests and you will not be performing any of those other tests. Section nine is type of control. I suggest that you select the for-profit 04 proprietary. And then the last section 10 is where you'll list any director affiliation. So if the director you listed on page one is a registered affiliate of any other CLIA lab, you need to disclose that here. For most of you, that won't apply. So in conclusion, you've already checked with your state agency for any state specific requirements they may have. You've completed the CMS 116 form, and you've printed it and signed it. Now you're gonna send that completed application to your state agency. The website I've listed here has contact information for all state agencies. I would encourage you to email or call them before submitting your application because many of them are accepting them via fax or email, which will speed up your processing time. Now, processing time varies greatly by state. We've seen them come back as quick as two days, and I'm being told that some are taking up to a month to approve these applications. Once your application is approved, they will contact you with your CLIA ID number. 
you are now legally able to provide COVID-19 testing. You will then go to the CMS.gov website where you'll use your CLIA ID number and pay your fee of $180 for your waiver certificate. This is valid for two years. If you have additional questions about completing the CLIA application, I suggest you visit the CMS website. They have some fantastic resources to help you.